I wrote it down here on my on my shiny board. Mr. Wholesaler, when you call him on the phone or you start a, a conversation with him via text, Mr. Wholesaler, is this property still available, right? Can we JV? So this, this is the goal, number one. You're calling to find out or you're texting to find out. Or you're contacting, reaching out to JV partner wholesaler people, other wholesalers. The objective number one to find out is this property that you found on Craigslist or maybe somewhere else. So getting JV deals, okay, for a co-wholesale business model is contacting the wholesaler and saying, number one, is it still available? Is it still on Craigslist? Number two, you would want to say, do you have any other properties? Okay. They might have properties almost ready to go. Maybe they are getting it under contract today and they're going to have pictures or something by tomorrow or something. You want to know about it, don't you? So number two is, do you have any other properties? Now, the third thing you're going to, going to, going to want to find out from Mr. Wholesaler or Miss Wholesaler nowadays, right? Do they have a cash buyer's list and are you on it? You want to get on that cash buyer's list. <clears throat> number four and we leave this one out a lot, but when you're talking to a wholesaler that you found on Craigslist, using the method that's that's shown in step-by-step -step fashion with the cheat sheets and everything so that you can duplicate it in video number one of that free course right there at the top of the screen, go there, get that free course in video number one. They talk about how to get these leads. The fourth thing you're gonna wanna do when you're talking to those leads is ask them, hey, do you have any pretty house leads that did not have enough equity for you to do the ugly house business? Very, very simple, very easy to navigate from professional to professional. Sometimes this is easier for a new person instead of calling homeowner leads like I like to do for, for lease options. Sometimes it's just easier to, you know, talk to other wholesalers light and easy and professional and like B instead of B to C, which would be like calling a homeowner. We would call that maybe business B to C, business to customer, all right? And JV wholesaling or co-wholesaling, it is more like B to B. So in video one, lots about finding other wholesalers, explicit examples, the cheat sheets, just absolutely ridiculously simple. Number two, there's the agreements package there. Brandon goes over the agreements, how they work, what's the flow of the agreements, you know, who signs what, who does what. Number three, finding buyers, a professional pro finding, pro buyer finding methods, okay? Number four was breakout rooms and live demonstration and he gets a, he gets a JV deal right there on the phone in front of us all and I'll just tell you how that worked out. I'm the guy that gave him the phone number. He opened it up in, in class number four there. And he says, anybody got a lead? Like a wholesaler's ad? Anybody got one they want me to call? I had gotten a random lead in my, for a property deal in my email from some company I'd never even heard of. I don't even know how I got on their cash buyers list. And I thought, well, what the heck? I'm just going to throw this number out there randomly. Turns out it's a legitimate lead and... Brandon got a deal, I think, teed up with him. I, I think it was in Atlanta, if I remember right. You'll have to watch video number four. But that's all a part of the the free course tonight. Coho Sailing has been a real blessing for me. Don't forget, because the conversation is just this simple, okay? It really is. You, you all know me. I get caught up on the words. Like, the words are important to me. I don't know why, but something in my genetics or in my in my psyche somewhere deep, words are important to me, like more so maybe than even other people. <laughs> and then I study words. You guys know that. I study phrases and how they how they affect my environment. Well, this here is the four steps to a successful conversation with a JV wholesaler. So is it still available? Can we JV? Number one. Number two, do you have any other properties? Number three, cash buyers list, am I on it? Number four, do you have any pretty house leads that did not have enough equity for you for you in this pretty house, in this ugly house business? See, because I'm a pretty house guy. I like this pretty house stuff. I really, really, really do. 